Okay, here you guys come. Thank you. Sorry about that. It's just one of those funny things that happens with Facebook Live from time to time. And it used to really, really freak me out. Because it's like, oh my gosh, I lost them. Da, da, da. But it's, you, you know what? After a little while, you start to realize there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. It's just, it's, it's just what happens from time to time. Okay, so glad you guys are all coming back on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, things happen when you're live. I have some fantastic projects for you guys. I can't wait to show you. We are going to be using this amazing paper. Let me see what it's called because I don't have all these names down yet. Mm. This is the Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. And this is a specialty paper because it is much thinner. It's not as thick as most of our um, designer series paper. So it's a specialty paper and it's really, really pretty. We've got a lot of very pretty patterns in here and we've got some, <clears throat> hang on, let me pull some of this out here. We've got some butterflies and some bees and then just really pretty patterns on the back. Look at how gorgeous that is. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. These are gorgeous. Hi, you guys. Thank you for coming back to me. I'm so sorry. Technical difficulties are the worst. And like I said, I used to freak out about them and I would start sweating and I'd be in a panic. And then I'm like, you know what? I can't do anything about it. Um, I don't know what happened. I must have touched something on my screen when I was trying to position my phone. And then you went, bye bye. And then when I came back on, you were sideways. So that's wonderful. So here's all this gorgeous paper. And I really do love this pack. And again, this is called the Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. You get 24 sheets of it in a pack. This is part of, is this part of, yeah, I, I think this is part of the buy three, get one free. So sorry about the glare too. If you guys see something glaring at me, please, or glaring at you, I should say, please let me know because um, I want to see, does, is this backwards? No, it's fine. Um, I don't want it glaring at you. I had somebody leave a comment on my YouTube channel that um, the, the video was blurry and there was a lot of, it was too bright. And I don't think this is too bright because... I need you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Hang on, I gotta find you on Facebook again so I can see your comments. But um, I want I want you to see what I'm doing, but I don't want you to get that glare. That's not cool. Okay. <clears throat> we are using the stitched all around um, new stamp set. Is that glaring? See, that's when the glare happens. I need to be able to tilt these somehow, put something under them so they're not laying flat down, and then they don't glare as much. <clears throat> and then we're using the Big Butterfly out of the Springtime Impressions. So I'm just going to get out all my supplies here. Oh, look, I've got Clips of Coral twice. That must go in my other basket. I know I used it a lot for these cards that we're going to do tonight. Let's see, what do I have here? I've got two cards in this basket. I think we'll do this one first because I know you're gonna love it. Okay, we are gonna use this paper. Oh, okay, so um, Darlis just told me that the tea paper is not part of the promotion. Thank you very much for that. I, sh I wasn't sure, but it is gorgeous designer series paper. We can all agree to that. All right. That was my mistake. Okay, so what I have here, let me see if I can find my little notes. I always, there they are. I always have notes so I know what sizes things are. Um, I've got a piece of designer series paper. This is five and a half inches this way by 12 inches this way. And we're going to score it. Thank you very much for the share, Brianna. Um, and Diana, remember to share my video. That helps me out a great deal. 
and we are going to score this paper at 2, 4, 8, and 10. And remember, all these dimensions and scoring instructions can be found every Tuesday after I do a Facebook Live. I take photos of all of these and I put them on my blog. Oh, I was talking before, somebody, somebody told me there was glare um, in a YouTube comment on my Facebook Live, and so I can do something about that. But she also said that the video was blurry, so I went back and watched it. The only part that was really blurry was at the end, and I can't do anything about that. It's the nature, it's, it's, that's the animal, it's a live feed. I can't do anything about that. But you can always find non-blurry pictures <laughs> on my blog with all the um, instructions. Okay, so once we have that done, then I'm going to take a pencil and we are going to use a ruler. Now don't start going, oh my gosh, this is, ugh. No, this is super simple. We're just gonna measure two and three quarters inch up from the bottom on both sides of our paper. I think you guys are gonna love this. It's so very pretty two and three quarters. There we go. Okay, bring that paper cutter back in there. And we are going to cut. So we've got two score lines here. One, two, one, two. This is the center of our card. We're gonna cut from that mark up to the top of this second score line in from each side. So I'm just going to put that score line in my channel here. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I hope so. And put the pencil mark in my channel. And then I'm going to cut this. Oops, I hear my husband is doing some laundry. He came up to me before. He came um, to my doorway of my office and he said to me, how come you're not live? And I like just about jumped out of my skin because I'm like, what, what did I do? Did I get the time wrong? And no, here I still had another hour or so. <laughs> he really freaked me out. <laughs> okay, these two little pieces that I cut off, you're going to keep those because we're gonna use them on the front of our card. All right, once we have that done, let me grab my bone folder. Thank you guys for the share, Kathy, Michelle, thank you. Sorry you got cut off. Um, it is the nature of the beast, you know? It's, it's a live feed and I bumped something on my screen and away you went, so I'm super sorry. Then we're gonna fold on this score line. I see pretty much everybody's back on. Thank you for your patience. I just hate it when stuff like that happens, but there's nothing I can do about it. So there's no sense in even freaking myself out over it. Yeah, I cringe. I'm like, oh my God, I just lost all my people. But it's not the end of the world. There's a lot worse things that could happen, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna erase my little pencil mark here because I don't want that to show when I have my card done. And here's our pretty little card. Now, isn't that pretty nifty? Yeah, uh-huh, I thought so. Then you're gonna take these pieces and you're going to flip them over to the opposite side and we're gonna put them back on here. So let me, um, for this particular paper, because it is a specialty paper, thank you guys for the hearts showing the love. I'm gonna use snail. Because this paper is pretty thin, I think snail is the best adhesive for me to use on here versus the glue that I almost always use. And that's why, you know, I have at my fingertips several different tools for gluing stuff because there's you know there's a there's a good one and a not so good one and some work better than others for certain things then i'm going to turn this over and i'm going to cut that off now isn't that pretty loving it oh cat thank you cat just said she shared my videos because she loves them Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It really does help me out. All right, a little bit more snail here. Get this lined up. Now, you guys have to tell me this is a super duper easy card. And you know what? It's not meeting up in the middle like it should. So I think I made a little um, error when I measured this. I think I measured on my ruler wrong because it should meet up. And I'll show you the one that I made 
as my sample before, before we're done here. So you can see that. But anyways, we're gonna just forget about that. But it should meet up in the middle perfectly. All right, then I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Ah, are you going for a bike ride without me? My husband just came in and made motions that he's going for a bike ride without me. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair at all. All right, so we'll be we'll be here alone. Um, then I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is three and a half by five. And then I also decided to use the Coastal Cabana because that's one of the colors in this cardstock and matches or designer series paper. And this one is five by, no, five and a quarter by three and three quarters. I'm going to do just a little bit of stamping here. And this is a really... Um, pretty stamp set stitched all around this comes in a bundle with framelits we're going to use the framelits on another card so don't worry I'll show you those but I've got the greeting here let me grab one of my piercing mats these are just our piercing mats I like to stamp on those because it gives you a good cushion ink this up oh darling you are fabulous how cute is that right Okay, so we've got that, and then inside the same stamp set is this pretty little viney, leafy thing, and I'm going to stamp this in Coastal Cabana, and I'm just going to stamp that right along the bottom here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look, I smeared it. That's never going to work. We're going to have to do over. I can't have a smear on there. I touched it too soon. Our inks dry super fast, but sometimes that happens. So we'll just, hang on, I got a piece of lint stuck on there. We will just stamp this again. There we go. And I'm not gonna touch it. And now I got ink on my fingers. That's why I have baby wipes at the ready. Yep, I got some orange on there. See how that works? And then I will use glue now to adhere this. This is cardstock. I don't know why. I guess I wouldn't have to. Oops. Who's yelling at me? Don't forget your layer. <laughs> yeah, because this just at this. I could have just put white on the inside of this card, but this just really takes it to the next level. Layers, layers, layers. I am a big layer person. I love lots of layers on my cards and I'm kind of pulling up the side so I can see the margin here so I get this straight in here okay so now we have this beautiful card I've got a little mark there what is that oh pencil eraser took it off one more thing we're gonna do we're gonna take the butterfly from the springtime thinlets and we are going to cut it out of coastal cabana and had this done already but I don't so we're going old school and I'm gonna bring in my big shot okay here we go yes Shelby always use the layers the layers just take your card up to the next level right Lots of layers. I love layering colors and cardstock. And when people get it and open it, your card has some weight to it and it feels substantial. I love that feeling. I'm going to roll that up and roll it back because this is um, a pretty intricate die. And then I'm going to bring in my big shot brush. I'm going to wheel my little card over here closer to me because I can now that my room is not a complete pit. <laughs> So Lisa says, oh no, your live went dead and then I was on live. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I know my live went went dead because I touched something and away you all went. Yeah, it's technology's great. I love technology, but only when it works right. <laughs> Not when it gives me problems. Okay, here we go. Do you see how easy that was? This is fabulous. And then I just kind of knock it all off and I'm ready to roll for the next one. Do you hear the bike starting up? 
I am so jealous. He did that on purpose. He's going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'm not kidding about that either. <laughs> Never going to let him live that down. You left. You left without me. Okay. Then I'm looking for some... Oh, I know what I did. I think I cut a dimensional because I need it to be super duper skinny. We only want half of the butterfly to stick to the front of our card. Yep, there goes my Harley. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, there we go. I just cut a little sliver off of there and I'm gonna put it on the back of my butterfly. And instead of putting it on the main body, I'm putting it right over here. You can't see it through the front and it's off on this little wing over here. And if you wanted to, you could cut some more slivers and put them in here. But I think this will hold just fine if I get the backing off of it. And I do. Okay, ready? Center my butterfly. Look at how pretty! What do you guys think? Spectacular, right? We've got one more thing here to do, and that is to put a rhinestone on our butterfly. And you could fill the butterfly up with rhinestones if you wanted to, but I just put one on there, just a little bit of bling there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Darla says birthday's over and so is being nice. You know, that's funny you say that because last night we were sitting around the campfire and I can't remember what he said to me, but I said, it's my birthday. And he goes, yeah, well, you got two more hours of that, and it's over. <laughs> so he was, like, waiting for it to be over. Because I play that up as much as I can, as we all should. If it's your special day, you should be playing it up. Okay, you guys, there is our first card. Now I've got another one to show you. Let's bring this beauty in. Oh, here's the one that I made first and see how everything lines up perfectly. Be careful with your measuring when you cut off these sides so that they're both the same because obviously mine weren't. This is just a tiny bit crooked here. So, you know, it happens. What are you going to do? I don't think anybody would notice it. If they do, don't ever send them a card again. It's <laughs> kind of the way I feel about it. It's like, that was nasty. Okay, next. Uh, let's see, where did this come from? I am using the foliage frame framelits. And these are the framelits that I used for this card right here. And the one that fell on the floor. And this one right here, see that? You've got all this foliage here. And then the centerpiece, this is a really nice set of framelits. So we are going to stamp on a scrap of Whisper White with Rich Razzleberry. Oh, this is our paper we're using this time. The, the inside is a different pattern, but it's still the Calypso Coral. And then look at this. How pretty is that? We are going to stamp the greeting from Enjoy Life. And it's the big greeting that says, when you arise in the morning, think of what a pre precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. And how absolutely precious is that? I love that greeting. And there we go. I've got it stamped for us. And then we are going to cut it out with this framelit. And through the magic of TV, I have already done that. Woohoo! <laughs> Can I move my butterfly up more? Then you won't notice that. Oh, yeah, Marsha, that's a great idea. Marsha says if I move my butterfly up, well, this is the right one, not the one I just made. If I move my butterfly up, you wouldn't see it, but it's still kind of crooked up here, too. So, like I said, it's not crooked that much, but it'll be fine. All right, then. Let's see, I did not make a prototype of this card, so bear with me while I try to remember what I did or had in mind for it. Um, we are going to take, again, this is five and a half by 12, and we're gonna score at two, four, eight, and 10. Make sure you don't cut this. I'm doing the same card again, just in case you didn't catch it to begin with. 
but it is going to be a different card. I mean, it's going to look different because we're doing some different stamps on it. And then we're going to measure properly this time, right? Two and three quarters is right there. Whoops, you know what? That's probably what I did. I used the zero mark here and I used the end of my ruler on the other one. So that's why it didn't work out. I'll bet you anything that's what happened. Let me get this out of the way. So I can get this ruler on here flat. Two and three quarters. See how much more time I'm taking with this one? <laughs> I don't want two that are crooked. All right, and now we're gonna cut that off again. The second score line down to our mark. Second score line. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna save that. Here comes the other one. Oh, that was easy. I got that lined up right away. Then I'm gonna erase these little marks. I'm anal like that. We have just a little bit of stamping to do on the inside pieces. I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is three and a half by five, and a piece that's three and three quarters by five and a quarter of Rich Razzleberry. Do just a little bit of stamping on here with the Rich Razzleberry and the girl from the Enjoy Life. I love this girl. I think she's super cool. I, I love that she's just a silhouette. Now, if you wanted to, you could also stamp the wake up, kick butt, repeat in here. That would be fun too, because it kind of goes along with the front, the saying on the, the greeting on the front of the card. Pretty color combo. Okay, so Shelby says, this is a great way to use up some of the DSP that we've all been saving. Yes, stop hoarding designer series paper. Stop. You can get two cards out of one sheet with this card design. You need to use up that paper. I, you know what? I used to be one of those people that always, like, I didn't use my designer series paper. I held it forever and ever because I was sure I was going to find a project that was going to be just perfect. And I wouldn't have that paper to make that just perfect project. Well, guess what? It never happens. Like, well, maybe once in a while. But rarely does it ever happen that you you find that just perfect project. So get the paper out, use it. You can always buy more. We have a great sale going on. <laughs> you can buy more paper, but if you don't use it, you just keep accumulating and you know what happens, you guys? Pretty soon you're saying, I can't buy any more paper because I have so much. I do not want to go into that category. I always want to be able to buy more paper. <laughs> That's a good way to think of it, I think. I can buy more paper because I use it. <laughs> and I love buying paper. Who doesn't love buying paper? Mm. Oh, shoot. Oh, did you see what I just did? That was a huge boo-boo. Darn it. So this is our old adhesive eraser. And I absolutely love it. We do not sell it anymore. So please don't ask me about it. I'm sorry, but I just made a colossal error and put my tape on the wrong side of this paper. But the really cool thing is, is that I can get it off with this gummy eraser. So just bear with me for a second here. All right. Accidents happen. I already shut off my live and now I put glue on the wrong side. Now my tape runner is empty. Do I have another one? Oh, this is turning out to be quite an evening, isn't it? <laughs> I do have some more tape runners, but I don't know where they are. So hang on, I'll find one. Here we go. Now with this paper, you wanna make sure that you get this in place properly the first time, because you don't get a second chance with it. Hang on, I'm looking for another um, Tape runner, I, you know how when you clean your room and you're never gonna find anything again in your life, that's what's gonna happen. I know it's here someplace, it's in a little container. I'll be darned if I can remember where I actually put them. I have a whole bunch of them. Huh, 
I did not know where they went. Well, I will find them. Oh, no, I'm not going. I, I do have another one in my apron, but it's packed up. I'm not going to dig for it. Okay, so I guess I'm using glue, and I'm going to just use a very, very, very thin spot of glue. Oh, Jean, the story behind the stamp set, the Enjoy Life stamp set. The stamp set was created by um, our Million Dollar Achiever, um, mm, Connie Fitzgerald. Connie's a friend of mine. I met her many years ago at Founders Circle um, out in Utah, which was a retreat for the top 100 demonstrators in the United States. And Connie is the sweetest, most lovely lady. She's from Wausau, Wisconsin. And her son was tragically killed in a canoe accident um, a few years ago. So this is her million dollar set and it's all about her kids, not just her son, but her daughter also. Her her kids are very, um, uh, do I wanna say ambitious? They really grab life by the butt, if you know what I mean. And he was just always, you know, he was a very adventurous boy and um, he was canoeing, obviously, when he, when he died in an accident. But um, that's what the stamp set is all about. And it just really touched my heart. And I can't imagine losing a child, but she made this beautiful stamp set and I love it. Big blessings go out to her. And also a thanks for making something so pretty, right? Okay, there, I got it all off. All right, then what I wanted to do was I wanted to take some of these colored doilies. These are really pretty and they come in four different colors. They're already colored for you. And if you remember, we had some white ones like this in a previous mini catalog. Well, now they're already colored. So we've got Old Olive, Coastal Cabana, I think this is Flirty Flamingo, and Calypso Coral. Does it say on the back? No, not really. It says it in the catalog. Anyways, they're very, very pretty. And there's some Old Olive in this paper. Remember, you can find all the colors of the paper Oh yeah, um, Adrian just asked if those tips can be cut off and put on here again. Well, sure they can. Let's see if I can find them in my garbage. Oh my gosh, we were dumpster diving this weekend. So my stepdaughter, Anna, I started doing the um, Direct Smile Club because my teeth have moved and there's spaces between them again. So I'm um, getting my teeth straightened once again. Yeah, you could certainly do this. Look at that. You could put that right back on there. Let's do that. That is, well, let me make sure I got both of them. I do. That is super cool. Great idea. Thank you. I didn't even think of it. But anyways, so I've got these, um, these plates in my mouth. They're like retainers. And you change them out every week. And I'm going to straighten my teeth back up here. And I took them out and put them in this little plastic container thing that's a throwaway item. I think it's for jello shots, actually. And I set them, I put a napkin over them so that the flies wouldn't be landing on my, you know, retainers that I'm going to stick back in my mouth. My stepdaughter, Anna, threw them in the garbage. And so after we were all cleaned up from a breakfast, look at that, that's a cool idea. So after we were all cleaned up from breakfast, um, I asked Anna, where did that little cup go that was sitting here? And she's like, oh my God, I threw it away. And her husband just took the garbage down to the garbage place. Now I really need to find some. Here we go. I found some. Um, and so we had to go dumpster diving in the dumpster for my retainers, which were in his garbage. <laughs> and we were lucky because when we got to the dumpster, we opened the lid. His bag was right there. He pulled it over to the side. We opened it, and there were my retainers right in that little cup on top. So, whew. Good deal. Look at, isn't that pretty? This is a really cool idea. So we're just gonna put some glue on one side here because we want our card to be able to open. And I just centered this on the slit in the middle. What do you guys think? Look at that. And then we're gonna put this on the inside. Just another really easy, fun way to use these doilies, this stamp set, this paper. 
which I really didn't think was part of our sale. So yay me. <laughs> you know what? That's how I roll. Things happen. I make mistakes. Whatever. So there we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? And this is just an all occasion card. You can send this to anybody. Absolutely love this. Yay! Okay, next. Let's keep moving here. Put this away and this away and get these put away. I don't think I need this anymore. Let's get that out of there. All right, where's the next basket? I think you guys are gonna love this one too. All right, what time is it? 8.12, we're right on schedule, even with all the disasters. Okay. Here comes another Clipso Coral. Let me get rid of this one. <coughs> so, I'm bringing back the gorgeousness here. Let me see what I'm doing here. It's been a while since I made this, so I gotta kinda check it out a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do this again, because I already did it. I'm gonna do this. Okay, good deal. I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> you guys pleased? <laughs> Hang on while I get everything unloaded. This is just a really nifty little idea that I wanted to share with you. Get out my pieces. And so <clears throat> the stitched shape labels are right here. And these are um these go with the stitch shape stamp set, which I'm gonna grab again. Threw it away. I didn't throw it away. <laughs> I pushed it over there. So here's the stitch shapes or stitched all around. You you can bundle these for a 10% savings. And this is so like this is so elegant and beautiful. But this one comes in there, and this one comes in there. Look how pretty those are. And then look at these fun ones. Oh my gosh, you have some little edgings. These do stitch, like stitch marks, and these do like little cross stitch marks and some more cross stitch marks. You've got a, cir a circle with dashes in it, another circle with some stitch marks, and a heart with stitch marks. So that's why it's called Stitched All Around, obviously. And I'm going to use this one and this one. Now this is just a really pretty bundle together. I'm going to move that out of the way so we don't get any glare. Oh, thank you for the love. I love the love. Hey, you guys, if I missed any questions, please retype them now. I'm kind of looking at my computer. It's hard to stamp and look and read and do all of that. It just, it's tricky stuff. I know I've had some people offer to come over and help me do my Facebook lives, but I just think that would be more distracting for me. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. All right, got some glue dots and some Blushing Bride. And let's see. Here's what we're going to do. I've already cut this out, okay? So look at, I hope you can see the details and how intricate that is. It's just amazingly beautiful. I love these. Yes, Shelby, if you love sewing, this is a great bundle for you. These stitched shapes are just so pretty. So Jenny's telling me that this DSP is on the, oh, this DSP. Oh, yes, Jenny. This is on the buy one, get one, buy three, get one free. And this is that gorgeous paper that I think I used last week, didn't I? This is so, so pretty. It is just mm, delicious. Oh, you know what? I'll go grab the bag. Hang on, because my office is cleaned up. I do know where that is. Where did those tape runners go, though? I have no idea. Where's the matching card? I, I don't know where that is. That's another. Uh. Yeah, remember this? This is a gift bag made out of that same paper. It is so pretty. Okay, so here we go. I cut this out, and then I cut this one out of this die. So we've got both of those done. And let's see, what was I going to do? Do I have a piece of paper? I don't have a piece of paper here. Hmm. Oh, I think I just wanted to show you this one. I'll show you the matching card when I'm finished making this little devil because this is going to be really cute. We're going to stamp on this a little bit. 
and I've got the Make a Difference photopolymer stamp set. All of this stuff is so cool. You get some images in here, you get all these letters, and these letters up here, if you do them one at a time, they look like cursive writing. So, um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I was going to do pink. I can't remember what I was going to do. Hang on. Hang on. I'm confused. Oh, yeah. Now I figured it out. <laughs> That's what happens when I make stuff too far in advance. I can't remember exactly what I did. I should always just make up prototypes. So I'm going to take the flower. There's a little flower spray in here. And the Blushing Bride ink. And this is very vanilla cardstock. And I'm just going to stamp this on here. And already, isn't that just so pretty? It's really, really pretty. Then I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral. And I am going to put a name on here. And the name that I'm going to put on here is mine. Of course, you're going to put other people's names on yours. <laughs> Not mine. But there's my K. Here's my E. And this is going to be a little kitty wampus because I'm not going to stick my head into the camera. L, L. And I'm falling right off my label. Yeah, I have to do, redo. Let's redo. we got to redo that. Um, let's try my K again. We'll put it up here a little further. There we go. And my E. That looks better, right? And the thing I was really excited about is there's two L's together, like LL. How cool is that? Stampin' Up! was really thinking about this when they made the stamp set because lots of words have two L's together. We've got our Y. I got that a little close, but you know, it's tricky on camera. And then I'm going to do my flowers again. Some flowers here, some flowers there. I would probably center this a little bit better <laughs> than I did. Don't worry, I'll redo this before I post the pictures so you'll see a really nice version of this little label thing. I think the other thing that I wanted to do, I've got this piece. This is two and an eighth by, I think it's 12. Yep, 12 of that designer series paper. And this is called Petal Promenade. So here's my designer series paper. I hear my husband coming back already. Yep, he didn't go far. It's probably because he realized how mean that was. So here's one that I did. And then I wanted to put a label across the inside of it. So like I said, I've just kind of made a mess. I think I'm gonna go with the vanilla and then this name that I already did. Are you guys really confused? I hope not. But anyways, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to glue this on here. Because this one's pretty good. I hear the bike. Coming back. He couldn't leave long without me. <laughs> and then I am going to put some glue dots right in the center here. Now I kind of folded this in half, but I didn't pinch it down. So, did you guys know that if you take your bone folder, don't get purple ink all over it, but take your bone folder, you can pick this up, your mini glue dots, and they don't stick to the bone folders. I mean, they do to pick them up, but not like your fingers where you're kind of like, Ugh, how do you get away from them? But bone folders do that. I learned that from our, from our Stampin' Up! demonstrators in the UK. But how genius was that? So now I've got a skewer and let me show you these. These are just bamboo skewers. You buy them at the grocery store, you put them on the grill and you cook shrimp and vegetables and stuff. I am going to put my bamboo skewer right in here, just like that. I'm leaving a little bit stick up out of the top. I'm gonna fold this down just like that. So now I know that my paper's gonna stay there and then I'm gonna add some glue. Not gluing all the way to the end down here because we're gonna cut this off. And hang tight because I'm gonna show you where I got this idea. I think it's super, super fun. And now I'm gonna come in and cut a banner end. So I like to cut my banner, well, you know what? 
I made this two and an eighth. If you made this two inches wide, you could use your banner punch. But I'm gonna do that, and then I come in from each corner to the middle. And the corner to the middle, just like that. So you've got your perfect little banner. And then I'm going to stick this on here. I think this is what I had in mind for this. We're not done though, okay? Then I've got some of the pink and silver. This is petal pink and silver baker's twine. I took this and let me get my ruler out again because I measured this for you so I could tell you how big it was. I took and I wrapped this back and forth six times eight inches long. So right to eight inches and then I'm going to just go back and forth. So I have six strands in all. There's my last one. Okay. Then I'm going to cut this off. See if I can remember how I did this. <laughs> Not doing so well in that arena tonight. I'm going to tie this in a single knot right up here with all of my strands. It's hard to do this with so much pressure and all you guys watching me. But, oh, I want these tassels to go up. So I'm just going to flip it around maybe. Let's see. So when you tie it on there, you want to tie it upside down. There we go. So I want those little tassels to go up. And then this part down here, I'm just going to take and tie in a single knot. And you're like, what in the heck is she doing? Hang with me. There we go. Just like that. Oh, I could pull that down a little bit further. Let me do that. I want this to look nice for everybody. So you can see what I see. There we go. I want there to be a little bit of slack in there. So this is sticking out a little bit. Okay, let me get this mess cleaned up. And I've got, oh, where did my sequins go? Oh, I had some sequins. But I lost them. <laughs> anybody see my sequins? No. Let's get out some diamonds. That'll work. I was going to do some of our self-adhesive sequins because that's what I used on the card, but I'll just throw some diamonds on here because it'll be fine. And anytime you're doing any little sequins or diamonds or whatever, you're going to do odd numbers. That's what my friend Shelly taught me is you want to do odd numbers. So this is three diamonds. So here comes... Well, Donna, I'm glad you're watching live from Australia. That's awesome. Here comes our little pick. And if you're having people over for lunch or whatever, you can set these in your glass just like this. This was Founder Circle from 2012. And you can put this at each place setting by using the Make a Difference and some beautiful designer series paper and some baker's twine and isn't this just going to impress your friends and family if you have a little lunch you can everybody can have a personalized little banner to put at their seat cute right and then let me show you where i got the idea this was the banner at my seat when i went to st george utah for our first dinner night they always put on a really nice dinner for us and this is how that came is in this founder circle glass with this nice little pick and I thought oh my gosh that's a good use of designer series paper isn't it so yeah you can put that in a little glass or in there you could have it for tea or coffee I would cut these maybe a little bit if you're going to do coffee you can put it in a wine glass how, how fun your friends will be very impressed so I am going to bring out the cards again and Remember to get out that designer series paper and use it. So pretty and easy. All of these projects were super, super easy tonight. Don't forget when you're putting in your online order to use this host code. That will get you into a drawing for a free stamp set of your choice. 
You'll also be entered in the drawing for my Facebook Lives where I give away free stuff. And are you ready for this? Here's a matching card to go with our little banner. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I thought so too. Very pretty. Okay, you guys, that's it for tonight. Does anybody have any questions for me? Um, let's see, I've got people private messaging me right now. I've got to close that down so I can see what's going on. Thank you. You are welcome, Kat. You are welcome for the great ideas that I've shown you tonight. I want you to get out your designer series paper and I want you to use it. Then you can get more paper. Remember, a lot of times patterns are kind of trendy. And if you hoard your designer series paper in a few years, it's not going to be popular anymore. And you're going to have something that's outdated that you're never going to use, right? I mean, it happens. I've done it. I'm guilty of it, too. Last year, I made a New Year's resolution that I was going to use my designer series paper. And boy, did I go through a lot of it. And I was very proud of myself because I stuck to it. So there you go. All right, you guys, I wish you a wonderful week. And um, I don't see any other questions coming up here. I will be live again on July 15th at 7 p.m. Central Time. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know. I know somebody last week said they wanted to see some matchbook cards. I do have that on my list of ideas. We'll see what happens there. And uh, if you find anything that online or whatever, and you're like, oh, I wish Kelly would do this in a video and show me how to make it, send me the link in a private message. I'd be happy to look into it. I can't make any promises because some things are just not meant um, for this type of a live broadcast, but a lot of them are perfect for it. So yes, Jackie, please do. She said she just got on. She's going to catch the replay. Um, as soon as I shut this video off, I load it onto this Facebook page. So if you missed anything or you want to go back and see something again, as soon as I get it loaded, you can move forward and backwards just like you can on YouTube and watch the video where you need to see it. So thank you, Kathy. Thank you for saying such lovely projects. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Shelby. Um, you guys have a great week. Stay cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>